are you today? I am Flash Isaac. I shall be taking you through the function of a function, composite function, or chain rule. Look at this. If you've been following my calculus videos, remember I told you that if y is equals to s squared, and I said differentiate with respect to s, the y over dx is simply equals 2s, right? Correct. If I say y is equals cos s, the y over the s is equals minus sin s, right? Correct. When you differentiate cos, you get minus sine. When you differentiate sine, you get cos. And remember, integration is the converse of differentiation in the sense that when you integrate cos s, you get sin s. So these are our functions. Function of s, function of s, function of s. But there is a case where a function has another function. In that case, we say that it is a composite function or function of a function. Now compare this. Look at this. Y is equals s squared. Compare it to this. Y is equals 3s minus 1 raised to the power of 9. Or compare y is equals s raised to the power of 9. Which one you differentiate? The y over the s is equals 9 s raised to the power of 8. So let's say compare here to that. In this case, the y is a function of s. This is equals 3s minus 1 raised to the power of 9. But look at something. This s now is no, it's no longer a single value, it's carrying another function. So this is something as y is equals s raised to the power of 9, where s is also another function, which is equals 3s minus 1. Let's say you don't understand that one. Look at this. y is equals cos s. Compare it to this. y is equals 3 cos 5s squared plus 2. Or we can as well compare it to y is equals 3 cos s. Looking at this, you see that this goes together. So s is now 5s squared plus 2. So s is now carrying another function. So that's why we say function of a function. When one function carries another function. So how do we solve problems on that function of a function? It is simple. This is the rule. When you are given function of a function, something like this, the rule is dy ds is equals dy du times du ds. How does this formula make sense to us at all? Let's apply it to question number one. This is y is equals 3s minus 1 raised to the power of 9. Right? If y is equals 3s minus 1, or raised to the power of 9, u is simply, this is the u, which is carrying another function. So, let u is equals 3s minus 1. If u is 3s minus 1, this simply means that y is equals u raised to the power of 9. True or false? True. Because y is 3s minus 1 raised to the power of 9. In this case, when you differentiate y with respect to u, that is dy over du, which is dy du. You are differentiating y with respect to u. This is equals 9u to the power of 8. 9 times this, you subtract 1 from the power. That is the rule of differentiation. What about du ds? This is u, this is s. u is now a function of s. So let's differentiate u with respect to s. du over ds is equals. When you differentiate three s, you have three. When you differentiate one, you get zero, because differentiation of a constant will give you zero. So we have 
dy du, we have du ds. So the complete dy ds is equals dy du, which is 9u raised to the power of 8 times du ds times 3. Substituting, remember u is equals 3s minus 1. We simply have 9 3s minus 1 raised to the power of 8 times 3. So this is equals 9 times 3 is 18 plus 9. 9 plus 8, 17. 17. Carry 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 2. 2 and 7, 27. So this will give you 27, 3s minus 1. Raised to the power of 8. So that is the answer. Y is equals 3 cos 5 s squared plus 2. So in this case, u is equals 5 s squared plus 2. So that y is equals 3 cos u. So what will dy du be? dy du is simply differentiating y with respect to u. dy over du is equals minus 3 sine u. When you differentiate cos, you get minus sine. So 3 is already standing here. So it remains. How about when you differentiate u with respect to s? du ds is equals Differentiating 5s squared, you get 10s. And when you differentiate constant, you get 0. It's starting on its own, so you get 0. There is a difference between differentiating 2s and differentiating 2. When you differentiate 2s, the 2 here is a constant, but it's mixed with variable. It's a function, not just a single constant. So that is why you can't say this 3 alone is 0. It's a function. From here, dy ds. dy du is minus 3 sine u times du ds, that's 10s, 10s. This becomes minus 3 sine u is 5s squared plus 2. So let's substitute 5s squared plus 2 times 10s. So this gives you... 10 times 3, that should be minus 30s sine 5s squared plus 2. So something like that should work. So I hope you found this helpful. That is it on composite function or function of a function. Feel free to subscribe to this channel if you found this very helpful. And don't forget to let me know how you feel using the comment box. Enjoy.